everybody, this is Praxis, and I'm back here after all of the rough stucco work I put on the side of the wall is all cured. Overnight, I had it all covered in plastic here, uh, and uh, the, the reason I did that was we had a forecast of rain yesterday, and I didn't want rain to come and like wash it off, but additionally, there was also a possibility of sun, and the sun did end up coming out, and I wanted to keep this stuff nice and moist so that it could cure uh, without drying out. Uh, when you are... Uh, doing concrete work it, uh, and you put it up, it's not drying, it's curing. It's a chemical process, uh, so you don't want it to dry out before it's done running through that chemical curing process, and that keeps it nice and hard. So I had all these, uh, you know, just pieces of scrap plastic that had been around wood and lumber and stuff. I had it up and, uh, you know, kept it all moist yesterday. I've already done this section with the second pass today, and I'm covering it back up because the sun is already out this morning. I don't want my second pass here to be drying out prematurely. And I just wanted to show you guys what I'm doing for the second pass. Uh, as you can see here, it's a little rough, or I don't know, but the resolution of the camera, I'm not sure if you can see, but it's a little rough because I, I did it with this, uh, you know, the rough tooth, rough, rough tooth part of the, uh, is this called a trowel or I don't know what this thing is called, but this is the tool I'm, I'm primarily using. Uh, the last pass I, I did it rough and now I'm going to be doing uh, this nice smooth pass as the finish pass. Uh, one thing that I'm doing as I go is there are a few little nubs and things where the concrete was kind of, uh, you know, there's a little bump or something like that. And I'm taking the edge of this and I'm just kind of shaving those down because the, the, tra the trowel has, you know, it makes a bump when the trowel goes over it uh, otherwise. So uh, I'm taking the smooth side this time, and I've got the same mix of concrete here, just that S-type mortar mixed with a, a, a bit of uh, Portland. And I'm just starting from the bottom, same as before, and just pulling it up like that. This goes a lot easier than last time. There's less concrete being used. Uh, I get about twice the distance with the, the same amount of concrete as I did the other way, just because it's a thinner pass, you're just kind of going over the whole thing. Uh, and, uh, and it's going really well. Uh, I suppose technically, I well, I, I don't know why I use the word technically, but I suppose I don't really need to do the finish pass all the way down to the bottom. I guess it could just be above ground level. I'm going the whole way just because it's like, you know, it's just a couple extra inches and it makes it look smooth all the way down. And in case there's like a little pit or a hole or something like that, I'm, I'm you know, I'm covering it up uh, while I go this uh, this time. And again, it's the same thing, just a little bit on here, and up from the bottom. I like to kind of get it on, you know, just generally, and then then go over and kind of brush it around. And some people kind of do swirl patterns. I'm just kind of doing my, my last finish pass is just kind of a, a swipe up. There's some little grit and stuff like that. I'm getting rid of while I go. But otherwise, that's it. Uh, today, what I'm going to be doing is just as much of this as I possibly can. My dad was supposed to be coming by with a replacement hammer drill bit, uh, and he's going to help me do some more holes, get more of the foam down, and I think I'm just going to be chasing around him while he drills holes. I'm going to be uh, finishing up the finish work here, and then doing the rough stucco work on the other hundred plus feet of, <laughs> of perimeter wall around this thing. That's it. Thanks for watching.